yellow gamer gnome is back and in this video we're going to help this noob with the ice fruit awaken it and reach max level but before we start you can show your support by using star code gamer gnome when purchasing your robux where the actor slam oh there it is forward that's your slam that's the dump okay guys so for this video our approach is different check this out we already have 182,000 in the level 1 account though i went to the frozen village buy everything the ability teacher sells busu haki or enhancement the sky jump and the flash tap after that we're going back to starting island and start defeating the bandits and just like the light fruit this fruit has a sword the ice sword so you can use it to lure the enemy and then defeat them using your ice shards guys the damage of the m1 or left clicks of the sword is based on your blast fruits one more thing ice fruit is an elemental fruit which means if your enemy doesn't have hockey and you've reached the level requirement they cannot damage you you need two ice shards and one left click to defeat a bandit our goal here is level 10. next island is the fountain city by the way guys you can walk on water if you have the ice foot there is no level requirement for that back to grinding first you need to lure the galley pirates in front of the wall you can left click using your ice sword you can defeat it easily and with just one galley pirate you will level up really fast the mastery will be enough to unlock the ice surge this is the ice surge you're gonna grind here until you reach level 55 and by the way you will unlock your third skill the ice bird wait a minute yes that is not the ice bird don't worry i'm gonna show it to you later let's check our stats first Neil defense 10 blocks for 145 next island is the pirate village our target here is bobby the clown this is the ice bird there you go guys i think this will have a revamp so watch out for that we're gonna do server hop here and before that shout out to this dude who helped me defeat bobby once his name is let's check it i think it is a speed walker again bro thank you and shout out to you you can leave this area at level 60 but i decided to stay here until 75 here are my stats next island is the desert okay so why 75 we skip the desert bandits we're going straight with the desert officers guys remember the elemental effect okay, there you go at level 75 this dude's gonna hit you which means faster grinding right no technique here just keep on hitting them until you reach level 90. next up the frozen village same strategy guys it's no bandits elemental is in effect at this level so there you go very easy guys i suggest you just grind here until you reach level 120 but if you want to start defeating bosses and do server hop start doing it at level 105 the target boss is yeti or the strategy create distance use your skills back use your skills back and that's it very easy guys okay so you can do server hop here until you reach level 120 or just stay in the snow bandits while heading towards our next island i saw this dude shout out to you robert binuya <laughs> anyway marine fortress our next island and check this out chief petty officers 120 logia or elementals in effect they cannot damage you also this area is good for grinding mastery i decided to leave this mobs at 130 and go straight to the vice admiral for the strategy lure him outside there you go and just jump here okay you can damage him using your z and c skill but not the x skill the ice surge because if you do that you will push him away and he can use his long range skill to attack you okay okay i hope that's clear if you're gonna ask me i defeated him face to face <laughs> you will unlock your last skill the glacial epoch here now we've unlocked all the skills but don't worry we are going to awaken all of the skills later in the second scene so you're gonna leave this area at level 220 stat check first 125 melee defense blocks for 410 next area is the prison so here we have three bosses to defeat first is the warden just lure the warden here and you can use your skills guys or your left clicks i suggest just use your left clicks because that will be faster okay that one 230 the chief warden same strategy guys use your left clicks and for level 240 this one guys you need to use your long range attacks because if you don't do that you will get hit by his skills especially when you're using your left clicks and i don't think that we will survive you're going to do server hop until you reach level 350 here stat check first melee and defense 200 blocks for 650 next island is the magma village so our target here is the magma admiral our strategy use your skills and dash to the side not back guys dash to the side there you go dash and dodge and use your skills to defeat him okay guys we're gonna keep on grinding here again same strategy server hop until you reach level 
425. Another stat check, Mili 260, defense through 60, blocks for 755. Next up, the Underwater City. Our target here, the Fishman Lord. Guys, I'm gonna make this faster because I'm excited to awaken all the skills. So guys, just do the window strat. Everyone knows that. With this strategy, it's very easy to defeat. There you go, as you can see. Again guys, we're gonna grind here until you reach level 500, okay? Again, checking our stats, 300 mil defense, blocks for 90, next up the Skylands. We're gonna go in the upper yard and start defeating the Whisper. Guys, this is the last mob here, okay? So you're gonna lure him here. Here you go and use your skills. He cannot attack you with his bazooka here, which will make things really easy. So again, you heard it correctly, we're gonna defeat this, only this boss in the Skylands, until you reach level 637. Gamer Noom, how about the Thunder God? Guys, it's very hard to go there. You're really slow, so I decided to stay here. Don't worry, again at 637, we're going back to the Fountain City. <laughs> Bounty Hunter in the first sea, that's something guys. Anyway, let's focus on the Galley Pirates. Logia is in effect at this level, that's why we went here. Another easy grinding for us. So our goal here is to reach level 700, right? And after that, yes, we will do the prison quest. So we're gonna get the key and the prison. Went to the frozen village to defeat the Ice Admiral and go to the middle town. Talk to the experienced captain and there you go guys, welcome to the second sea. We're going straight to the hot and cold. Yes, and our friends will carry us again. We're gonna fast forward this part, but some tips guys. So you've teleported in the island and if you think you're still weak, just go in the water, okay? And wait for them to defeat the boss and that's it. The only problem is how will you grind the fragments, okay? So it's up to you guys. Here are the previous skills, compare it to the new awakened skills. We're going back to the first seat to grind, yes, because I don't like the mobs here, the first two mobs, the raiders and the mercenaries. By the way, ice skating will decrease your energy when using it in water. And for the new skills, here is the ice pierce, the Z skill. Next up is the ice dragon. Next up is absolute zero V skill. And last one is the X skill, the glacial surge. Also, you can use that in order Z, V, C, and X skill because Glacial Surge has a knockback. You will grind here until you reach level 793. Now back to the second C. Again, we skip the first three mobs, Raiders, Mercenaries, and Diamond. Now we're gonna focus on the Swan Pirates. As you can see, Elemental is in effect. First, you're just lure 5. Defeat them using our combo. Again, last skill to be used is the X skill, the Glacial Surge, and that's it. You're gonna grind here until 925. Next up, the Green Zone. Our target here is Fajita or Fujitora. Don't worry guys, we're just gonna level up here 50 times. Our strategy here will be the same with the Yeti. Use your skills and just keep going back. Break distance, maintain your distance, use your skills, okay? Left this area at 976, stat check, melee defense, 600, block foots, 1,728. Next up guys, this is a lot easier, the Graveyard Island. So we're gonna target the zombies here, only the zombies. Logia is in effect, or elemental. So you can use your left clicks and skills to defeat them. Target level here, 1,028. After that, next area is the Snow Mountains. We're gonna defeat the Snow Troopers. Same strategy with the zombies, they're easy to defeat. They're near the quest giver, so our target is only this mob. Make sure to take your time. And we're gonna leave this area at level 1150 or 1151. Next up, the hot and cold. Our target here is the smoke admiral. Guys, this boss is my favorite because after just one combo, check the HP more than one fourth. So you need like two more sets of your skills to defeat it. Okay, very easy. We're gonna leave this area at 1288. Here are the stats. Nearly 600, defense 964, blocks foot max. Next up, the cursed ship. So our target, the ship deckhands. Why? Because elemental is in effect at this level. Next target is at 1342. There you go, the ship stewards. Again, elemental is in effect. Same with the next mob, guys. 1,394, we're out. Let's check the stats. 700 melee defense, 1,182. Block foots max. Next island is the Ice Castle. We're not gonna defeat the boss. We're just gonna focus on the Arctic Warriors. Again, remember the levels because that is the time that you will activate the elemental effect. Okay, Gamer Gnome. So until what level are we gonna stay here? We're gonna stay here at level 1,473. Next up, the Forgotten Island. So our final enemy is the Sea Soldiers. Yes, 
we're not gonna defeat the boss here. We're just gonna focus here because again, elemental scene effect. Just a reminder, we're not gonna leave this area at 1,500 even though that's a required level. Again, we're gonna stay here until 1552. Make sure to do the Coliseum quest. And here you will talk to King Redhead and you need to like damage Indra until half HP. It will send you to the cafe. Now time to head to the green zone, talk to Mr. Captain. And guys, welcome to the third C. Congratulations. And our lucky first target is the Pirate Millionaires. So guys, again, why are we here at this level, 1,552? Elemental scene effect. So there you go. It will be easy again. The only enemy here is yourself. You need to be patient, okay? So again, with just one combo and some left clicks, that will be enough to defeat this mob. But guys, we're gonna stay here. Listen, until you reach 1,675. That's a lot of levels, more than 100. For the stats, melee 850, defense 1,875, max blast fruits. Next island is the Hydra Island. We're gonna defeat only one mob and that mob is the Island Empress. Obviously, we're gonna do server up here. The technique, guys, wall strat. Lure her inside her castle and that's it. I don't know if this is a castle. Correct me if I'm wrong. You're gonna use your skills and that's it. For those who don't know, you will get the serpent bow in this boss. Anyway, target level 1750. Stat check, melee 850. Defense 2100. Blast fruits 2300. Next island is the Great Tree. So the boss is located here. Yes, again, boss is our target, the Kilo Admiral. Technique Gamer Gnome, just jump here on top of this rock and that's it. You can use your Z, X, and C skill to damage him except your absolute zero. Guys, you can defeat him face to face. If that's what you want, I'm just showing you the easier way, okay? So we're gonna leave this area at level 1868. Here are the stats, max defense and blast fruits, and that's all you need guys. Melee or energy is enough to reach the max level. Next island is the floating turtle. So here, we're gonna defeat only one mob guys. Out of all the mobs, all the bosses in this island, we're just gonna defeat the fishman captains. Why gamer no? First off, elemental is in effect. Next up guys, it's so near the quest giver. Guys, don't worry about the experience, it's not that far. The difference is not that far. And this is the fastest way and the most efficient. Trust me guys, for the target level 2055. And for the next area, the Hunted Castle. And the only mob that we're gonna defeat here is the Reborn Skeletons. Why? Because they're the easiest to defeat. And the other mobs here can defeat you guys. If you don't dodge properly, they can one hit burst you. So guys, I suggest you just stay here. Grind here until 2161. For the stats guys, Max Blast Fruits and Max Defense. Here, we're gonna make the melee max. So for our final mob, the Peanut Scouts. So here it is. Don't worry guys, elemental effect. We're gonna take advantage of that until we reach max level. So guys, do you have any request? A fruit, flame fruit, sand fruit? Just comment it in the comment section or even the soul fruit, okay? So guys, I hope that you enjoyed and you learned something from this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom, and Gamer Nom out.